We're finally back with part two of season two. ED arc is over. And we're getting into a new arc where I expect a turning point to happen. The trailer has been baiting. I know that the most recent trailer at the very end, they teased a little. But aside from that, they're kind of just like, oh, Sophie and Rudy, they're going to get married. Happy, happy. Or oh, little sister's coming back. Happy, happy. Some drama between little sister and Rudy. Uh-oh. But other than that, seems pretty tame. And I think the trailer is fucking baiting us man we're off to a new season of mushoku tensei and you know it's gonna be a controversial one no matter what because people hate this show but a lot of people love it let's begin today's reaction no opening no opening at the end maybe let's see how they handle it ah the shrine our daily shrine gotta worship it yes <laughs> what do you put in there what is this i forget it's been a while what is in the box is this supposed- is it a new relic? Is it Sylphie's ring? Is it the ring we're gonna get to Sylphie? What- is it Sylphie's panties? <laughs> I don't know what's in the box. <laughs> Grandmaster? <laughs> because like, Ju Zanoba- Julie's master is Zanoba. And if Julie's master is calling Rudy master, then therefore it must be Grand Master. Oh, guys, see? Child slavery ain't so bad. Look, oh. so cute, right? I just realized. Zanoba has been locked in. Z Zanoba, I, 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 never, I never really recognized, you know, Zanoba's cheekbones, but goddamn, they're cut. Yeah. Oh, hi, Nia. Nia and Nano. Hey, hey, you gotta wipe now, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> Nianda. Nuni. <laughs> the boss finally went into heat. <laughs> I'm a simple <laughs> Rudy's in heat now? I mean, wait. They do know. They, Because our dick is working now. No, they can smell that the erectile dysfunction is cured. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Meat? You ain't gonna run out of meat? That's why. <laughs> These fucking meat writers, bro. These fucking meat eaters. Yeah. You're bursting with the erection, bro. God damn it's so hard now. Guys, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Oh, what is it, boss? What is it, boss? <laughs> My dick. It's working now. What? Erectile dysfunction cure! That's my boss! Yeah. Wow, amazing! Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. We can't tell you that, Zanova. The craziest thing to me is Cliff and how his development. I thought there was gonna be a full on fucking arc to handle his fucking, you know, problems, but it's like, nah. He got Erin Arise Kuchi once and he's fixed. He's become so mature. Like, he's, his, his character arc was already fixed last part, right? I thought we were going to dedicate some fucking episodes and go on some fucking, you know, missions and stuff and show him that he's not all hot shit. But the moment that he got at Irina Issa, it's just like, boom, corrected, bro. Sophie helped me and even gave up something precious to do it. I was like, the wording, I'm like, what did she give up? What did she give up? Something? I'm like, oh, you know. Y you know. But something was also gained that way. <laughs> I'm like, what is she talking about? Lost what? <laughs> I wonder what she lost. <laughs> He's a threat to the chastity of every girl in school, Mia. <laughs> Get too close and you'll end up pregnant, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> These beast girls are fucking just going crazy today, dude. Careful now. Don't want to get impregnated. Nanaoshi? 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 Hello, Nanaoshi. She had her mask off in the trailer. What does Nanaoshi see in guys? Yeah, to her, it's all about teleportation research. Has she really never been in love? Don't spoil. Don't spoil, but Nana Hoshi's crush. I find it hard to believe that she would have a random crush on a random student at school. So then the next answer, I guess, could be 
Orsted, but does it make sense for Nanahoshi to have a crush on Orsted? Maybe? I don't know. Is it Orsted? He's kind of hot, right? He's kind of he's, he's, he's a fucking dragon god, but I feel like it's too different. I don't, I don't know. Is there someone random at school? Imagine it's some fucking random NPC, bro. Nah, it can't be. Who is it? It's not Rudy, right? I don't think there's ever been a moment where I thought Nanahoshi and Rudy were like romantically engaged. Hmm. We had a fight and I haven't seen him since. Now this could be either a fight back on Earth and she got teleported and her entire fucking thing is I need to go back on Earth to get back to my boyfriend or crush. Or it's in this world. Don't really know. Oh, because we did see her in front of like a gas station, remember, before we got teleported, right? So we got some reincarnated. So it's the person that she was arguing with that was the crush. Oh, we have to go back to episode one to see who it was. Are we, are we spending time together right now? Are we talking to dad? <laughs> now that my dick works, I can actually work to reunite with my family. That's kind of crazy that his priorities were his fucking erectile dysfunction instead of saving his family. Oh, detour before that though. Hello, wife. <laughs> What the selfie want? Get a ring? Plan a marriage? What? Just house? <laughs> How can you get married if you don't even have a house? Ain't nobody in our current generation. Ain't nobody. In the real world. Nobody can fucking own a house. How can you get married if you don't have an house? That's why no one is having fucking kids, bro. Straight up. Everything is too fucking expensive. No one's having kids because they can't even fucking afford to, you know, sustain themselves in a fucking one-bedroom apartment. Does Sophie have a home? Can we, can we mooch off of? Nan's gotta show us work by like getting a house. Just get a house, bro. Just buy a house. <laughs> Julie eating the bread is so cute. But like, is it so simple? You're just gonna go into town and just look at a house? That's it? Wow. Yes. <laughs> My illness, yes. Follower of Minis. Minis is a goddess they worship in whatever town. Uh, what was it? Pa uh, he was from like a religious city, right? I forget the exact thing, but in season one, Cliff is from the city where there's like a lot of water, right? And Millis is like the god that they worship in that place, right? But we are a follower of Roxy's. Get out of here. Oh, I can give us a blessing for the wedding. Cool. We got money to buy that shit? Really? So we need to get a pretty big house then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this going to be a house shopping arc? Hmm. what the fuck? So it's like an abandoned mansion we're just gonna take? You, you hear sounds at night, and next morning they find residents murdered. Uh, uh, are you sure we buy this? Uh, who's in there? It's, there's more victims? Are we gonna become victims? That's why. <laughs> We're gonna exercise this house. Yo, Zanoba, he's strong as fuck and he actually has a blunt weapon. I'm kind of excited to see how Zanoba fights with this weapon. <laughs> Bro's way too fucking strong. Oh, right, you are. I think it should be higher than A. Elementary divine magic. Holy magic? To counter the ghosts? I don't know. A little bit of montage. Muted, but with the soundtrack playing.
in here? Yeah. We share beds? Monster. Is it gonna be a waifu? Zanobo actually cares about Julie! Yeah, we know that, don't we? Didn't he already tell us this? That is kind of a death flag, though. You're right. I mean, we know he's gonna get married, but like, you shouldn't really say that before, you know, something bad happens. Uh oh, here we go. Who's coming? Who is it? I thought it'd be like a human or something. Some kind of like humanoid, but this looks like a beast. Only Cliff is on guard right now. Oh god, Cliff's gonna die, guys! What is it? I can't see shit, bro! What is it? Bro, wake up. Come on, let's go. What is it? Are we getting baited? Is it gonna be something fucking cute? Above. What? It's too dark. I can't see shit. Where is it? That's the secret entrance, right? This is the secret entrance. The thing was like turning. You can see the half moon circle. What is this Ghostbusters fucking episode, bro? What are we doing? Here it again. There's hands! There's hands! Was that hands? Oh. <gasps> Yo, that, that, those are fingers. Those are fingers, dude. Those are fingers. What the fuck is this? Mm, it's moving! The fingers are moving! The fingers are moving! I saw the fingers! Ah! <gasps> Jump scare! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, I knew it was gonna show. <laughs> Boom! What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck? It looks like a not, a... not a skeleton. Not a skull. What kind of monster is this? The fuck? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Zanaba! Zanaba! Nice. What? The outer shell broke. Oh. Sanoba dead? That attack looked like it pierced him right over here. Sanoba dead. Goodbye. What the fuck? Death flags! Death flags! They're not actually gonna die, right? Alright, he's a fucking blessed child. It's not. What am I thinking? He's fucking strong, but he's also durable as fuck. Did, was it ever shown before? Was it was it shown that he was actually durable too? Because we knew he was strong as fuck. But he's an actual fucking tank. Holy. Constructed uniquely. <laughs> Cliff doing the incantation while he's so scared is pretty funny. <laughs> okay. It's not doing shit. Cause it's not a ghost or some kind of cursed monster. What, 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 what? Are you enjoying this? What are you doing? The fuck? It gave up. Did it just get tired? Is he blushing? Is he, is he blushing? Did he enjoy this? So it was like attacking the entire time. Did he? Did he enjoy it? Cause like he's so durable. That finally something showed up that could actually make him feel something? Is that, is that what's going on? What, what, what was that? I don't know. And look at the side there. there. He's like, oh, that was good. Nice session. <laughs> you, went, <laughs> you ran away, bro. <laughs> Immortal demon gig. I don't know. Zanaba's pretty crap. It's like research you can do on a doll. But something was controlling the doll before? Did it just like lose power? It was like operating independently, but something was controlling? I'm not sure, but we have a doll to experiment on. Yes, it was. Best voice actor, Zanoba.
Maid robot. Mecha maids. Okay, we're gonna get maid robots now. Come on. Ababa. <laughs> we see the potential. I wonder if Zanabo actually thought about the robot maids, because like right now it's like, oh, you've already, you know, your keen eyes for doll has surpassed me. Your degenerate fetishes surpasses mine. But I wonder if Zanabo even thought about the mecha maid. <laughs> We can make moving dolls now. Maybe we can have like actual moving doll, you know, maids and stuff, like housekeepers in our new house that can clean all this shit and do all the other stuff. Cool. New tech. Yeah, we can probably make a, a, a fuck master 9000 out of these dolls too, huh? <laughs> the cliff is actually gonna die. This was the death like that cliff made. Zanabo's about to kill him. He's just palming his head. You dare disrespect the doll. He doesn't appreciate the dolls. Dude, his head actually could get popped. Our evil spirit. Wait, is he healing himself? Divine power is rich and nourishing. Is, is Cliff fucking doing an incantation to heal himself right now? I think, I think he is healing himself. <laughs> Heating. <laughs> I feel bad for Cliff. Zanaba just casually almost killed him. There's a doll master around? Push, he says. Is he about to just fucking just like destroy this wall? I don't know, he actually pushed it. Okay, I thought he might actually break the fucking wall. It's like a little research lab. Looks like where you would make the dolls, huh? Books, human skeleton, but monster dolls too. Magical implements. Circle. New character that's super into dolls gonna get introduced? Wait, where is he? And all the victims were like intruders. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, you think that whoever made this thing actually killed its own owner because it identified himself as like a monster? And like a threat? The owner got killed by its own creation? Very cliche, but... <laughs> Alright, case closed. Sure. There was only one doll? Okay, sure. Yeah, we're friends now. Make a mecha doll out of it. Mecha maid. Zanaba really wants this. He loves dolls. But with this doll, he can do something else? He's just trying to make himself useful, right? In the pursuit of doll research. Very self-aware. He's strong enough. Let him have it. Is Zanaba actually pure love and passion for the craft of dolls? Not just money, I want to be useful. Respect the hustle. So epic, dude. So dramatic. Oh my god. Take it. Take it, Zanova. There's no way he's trying to make a sex doll out of this. You think the only reason he wants this is to get a sex doll out of it? No. Zanova's love and love and passion for the dolls. Now he would never think about defiling it, right? Right? But well, then again, he was naked. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't he, like, naked in the opening when, with the dolls? Hold up. He was. That's his way of showing love and his pure love for the craftsmanship. So I think he will make a sex doll out of it. Uh-oh. Okay, great. We got a my home, just like in Spider. Okay. Our wife. Our home. She already know? She teasing? Yeah. Behold! Our home! Looks way better than before. 
Even the roof is after her original hair color. Wow. Wow, she's really touched by this. It's casually flexing this fucking billion dollar mansion. <laughs> this is too happy. We are getting set up so like like straight up. This is all gonna be like moments of like peace and calm before the storm hits, right? Because they're just trying to ease us into the new season. Wow, happy times. We got a home. We're married. We got a new doll. Sex doll. Master's dick works again. Great. Great. And then they're going to fucking just stab a fucking dagger in her back and just fucking twist that shit, bro. And then we're going to remember all these happy moments when that happens. Oh. A bed to share together? But we gon' we gonna be fucking on that bed. <laughs> Sophie did say, please dig in. Right? Like, 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 like this I can savor every bite of you is not weird because Sophie straight up said, please dig in, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're lying, remember? <laughs> please dig in. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Oh, we got a house now. No, we got Cliff that can, like, bless us. Wait! Are they gonna, like, plan and prep for the wedding? And as we get there, and everything is happy, and everyone is our friends and family is all gathering, and we're gonna have the happiest wedding ever? Turning point! Turning point hits before, like, like, like during, or, like, right as soon as, like, do you, Rudius? You know, Greater, uh, take Sylphie as your bride. I do. do. Does anyone have anything else to say? And then, boom, turning point. <laughs> How many kids are we getting again? <laughs> How many kids are we popping out again? <laughs> Two more years until we go back to the Asar Kingdom fucking arc? Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Ending or opening? Ending or opening? I'm not sure. Wait, 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 what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Yeah, 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 your boner was back. Yes, your erection. You were rough? Really, Rudy? Oh, right. That blood, oh my god. Because, like, you know, it was like red wine. You saw the wine, but obviously when you, when you lose it, you know, blood, so that's like the imagery. That's right, because she didn't run away like Eris did. Okay, okay. So cute, so happy so far, but I will not get baited. I'm going to be cautious about this. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Very happy. Everything is so good right now. Don't up and disappear on me. <laughs> so like, the wedding is about to happen. Turning point happens. Rudy somehow <laughs> disappears. And maybe like, not how she's teleportation research is going to be the cause of this, right? Maybe, because like, in the trailer, not how she had her mask off and it looked like she was celebrating something. What would look like, what would look like teleportation circles. So maybe not how she's breakthrough research actually doesn't really work as well. And this porch Rudy fucking out during the fucking marriage. And this is all a flag. Uh oh. Uh oh. I will disappear on you, my ass. It's so gonna happen. Oh, we are getting set up, bro. Fake smiles. Don't believe in your smiles. And that is the episode. Welcome back to Mushoku Tensei. We are back with Mushoku Tensei Sundays. And today's episode started off very funny. Boss has got it back. Boss is in heat. If you just go around boss, I feel like I'm gonna get impregnated. <laughs> You know, Linea and Persona is so fucking funny. Today's episode was more of a, a slow way to ease us back into what was happening at the end of Season 2, which was, you know, the Erectile Dysfunction arc, which got solved. You know, Zanoba has his, you know, the apprentice, Julie, you know, the, the cat girl, dog girls are doing their thing. Cliff is getting laid by Irina Rize. Nana, which is doing research. Body guy's probably here somewhere, probably fucking Irina Rize, but it's pretty happy. Pretty happy. 
We got a little bit of the moving doll stuff too. It could be pretty interesting. I think that Zanaba is just going to make a fuck master 9,000 out of this doll. And things are seemingly way too happy. I have my guard up. It seems like we're leading up to some kind of wedding. And it seems like the next couple episodes are going to be reconnecting with some old friends and old characters. Because we do see Ruizard. We do see our other sister, right? And we're even talking to Paul. So hopefully, like, not hopefully, but like, it looks like other characters will get involved. And they're going to be all invited to the wedding. And as we kind of set up for the wedding... Turning point! Either Rudy gets teleported out or at the end when they say, does anyone have a... What's the word? You know at the ending where everyone says, does anyone uh, uh, like have any... like what, what, what is this thing? It's like, do you... Does anyone object? And then door fucking opens. Eris shows up and it's like, oh my God, Eris is back. No, I don't think it's going to go like that. That would be fucking hilarious. But I feel like something with Nana Hoichi's teleportation experiment will port Rudy away to someone else. And maybe that is turning point. But just guessing based off of what they're giving us. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.